two way out. In fact, when I was in one wreck with my niece, she had a brand new Toyota she had just rented. And when she a truck hit it at 25 miles an hour, we were going 25, it was going 25 miles, all the seat belts gave up. Yeah, well, um, every wreck I ever had, I managed to mm -hmm. take my seat belt off or I wouldn't mm -hmm. be sitting here. So it, it just depends on the circumstances. It depends on the circumstances. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So. You know. uh, given a choice, would you would have would you have liked to live earlier or later? I mean, bef not this time. Would you have liked to would live like before uh -huh. or in the future? I think I would have liked to live in the future, like when it's peaceful. This years of thousand years of peace that's coming. I'd like to live then. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited by what's going on now with the rockets mm -hmm. and going to the stars. I love it. I wish I. I kind of wish sometimes a man so I could be one of those that was going. Mm -hmm. I would love to be an astronaut. Yeah, and then at one point you, we all ended up at the um, Sutton here, no? Mm -hmm. uh, we all ended, would all, we actually, we all ended up at the, in Kimberling City at the UFO conference. We sure did. That was nice. That was a wonderful mm -hmm. conference, yes. Yeah. I'll never forget that. I was just looking at the program. A couple mm -hmm. of days ago, it was really interesting that w whatever it was that they had found. Oh, Bob White's Bob object. White had found. Mm -hmm. That was fascinating to be able to hold it. Mm -hmm. It was so light, wasn't it? It was really light, but it's yeah. full of a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. So it was really a wonderful experience of meeting John, the gentleman that had did the black box. Was it? His thing was called the black box, where he did all that information gathering. John. Oh, John Greenwald. Yeah, Greenwald. Oh, yes. oh, a young so man. Nice to meet John a young Greenwald. Man. Yeah. So it's nice to know young people are interested in this field mm -hmm. and we'll be carrying it on when we decide to go to the other side. Yeah, and, and then of course we have Adam Curry. He's mm -hmm. on my Facebook. He's the one that made our mind lamps. Yeah, she just told me about that. Mind yeah. lamp, I want one, is fascinating. That's the things I enjoy being right now, seeing that happen. Mm -hmm. Well, when we did the predictions, we wanted to see what the lamp was going to do. Mm -hmm. But I don't think the lamp wanted to do anything. Do anything because <laughs> it might be tired. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, yeah, so. It'll be interesting to see what happens. But I like those kind of experiments. Mm -hmm. If you had to do over, which what would you do over? Well, I probably wouldn't have any children. You want the truth? No. No children. Mm -hmm. I probably would not be black. Mm -hmm. I probably would not be female. Mm -hmm. If I had to do all over, I'd choose differently. Mm -hmm. For the time now mm -hmm. uh, that I came up. Now, if I was born now, I would just be who I am right now. Because mm -hmm. the chances and opportunities are very different. But I'd like to escape all the prejudice and all that. I would have liked to come out of that. Male and female. Gender, race, prejudice. I would have liked to be able to skip that. But where I'm at now, I like. Yeah. It doesn't matter what I am. Because I'm who I am and I like who I am now. But, you know, it took a while. It took a while to get here. I'm glad I'm here. Yeah, and you have such wonderful friends like <laughs> you and her and other people. She means you, Lisa. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you still travel. When you want to go somewhere, you go. I, I'm able to travel by myself, which I'm so happy about. I'm in very good health. In spite of whatever this is, I don't even know it's there, so I guess it's there when I see a scar or something's there. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think it's moved since I lost weight. I asked somebody, could it move? My daughter said, yes, it can. <laughs> can it? Yeah, well, I, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm glad that you, I have forgot that you have a pacemaker. Mm -hmm. Because I have a, um, a new wave oven, and it says not to stand in front of it while you have a pacemaker. Microwave, so, same. Yeah. So I'm... I'm I won't stand there while you're cooking. Won't stand there, yeah, but I forgot about. Oh, that. that's good that you told me, so I'll make sure I didn't go behind you to peek on, see what you're doing. Yeah, I, I, t I just totally, I just totally forgot about. That. And to the gentleman who want to know my life, that's if you want to know anymore, get my uh, phone number or my email address from her. I have nothing to hide. That's one thing about being 77. <laughs> uh, no nothing good. to hide, and whatever I don't say is on a chip anyway, <laughs> on my driver's license. <laughs> So it's okay. <laughs> it's, 
And that's one thing, you don't have to hide nothing as you get older. Because you realize that everything's okay, you know. Your hair has grown, or how long it take you to get to where you are, three years? Oh, yeah. My hair? Mm -hmm. Oh, I haven't had, my hair's been braids about 14 years. 14 years. Yeah. I have weak hair, so when I, when I don't keep it in braids, it's not protected, it doesn't grow, it breaks mm -hmm. when I comb it. And everybody said, your hair's getting so thick, I don't even notice it. Yeah, it looks, it, it looks. I, I don't notice. My kids do my hair because I don't care about doing hair, so when they come, they do a cute little style for me. It lasts about three months. Mm -hmm. Then when I see them again, they do it again. Because they like to do those things. They like looking a certain way, so go on, make me look like you want. I don't care. Yeah, I, I tried to put my hair in locks not too long ago. I, I just couldn't Oh, do your hair's too straight for locks, I honey. Mean, it also make it thinner. Awful. It'll make it thinner. Yeah. Pull it out. It, the weight of it will pull it out. Yeah, I said to my doctor, why am I losing my hair? He said, you're not losing it. It's just thinning. Oh, that's a good way of looking at it. I said, well, it. okay. That's good to know. <laughs> But I was, I was hurting a little. That's oh. what I just <laughs> try to pull it, it down so you can see what you had it. Lock. See, uh -huh. I was funny. So even went to the internet to see what I could do, you know, oh, uh -huh. because I didn't want to do the banana peel thing. I said, I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> it's red with straight. You'd have to use vinegar. I think they use vinegar or something yeah. on your hair when it's straight like that. When you go to Jamaica, they'll lock it for you for about ten dollars. Won't stay, but they'll lock it. it. They'll, be, they'll even beat it for you. <laughs> yeah. Because I had it done when I went to Jamaica, and I didn't realize that they had a lot of mosquitoes. That's why they tell you to be gone at 6 o'clock. They come out at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And she would build fires around our, ch <laughs> our chair, which is locking it, to keep the mosquitoes away. They're so bad. Mm -hmm. After 6 o'clock, they don't like air conditioning. Mm -hmm. But if there's no air conditioning, they will eat you up. Yeah, and, and, and you said uh, they keep giving you a hard time at the border, they think you're Jamaican? Well, they keep saying something about I have a Jamaican accent, but I don't think I have a Jamaican accent. No. Anybody think I have let Lily know and I'll, that I'll t call you and tell, hear my voice, you will know it's in Jamaican. Yeah. But I, everybody thinks when I come in from, no matter where I come from, they think I'm Jamaican. And I went to Jamaica once, twice. Mm-hmm. And I have no relatives there. And I don't have an accent, at least not Jamaican. Mm -hmm. They're going to keep people from flying. Yeah. Just because we look a certain way. Well, they don't, I have problems coming into the United States rather than going out. I have no problem going out of the United States. It's only when I come back in. Mm -hmm. And I was born here, so that's really ironic and not very funny. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Yeah, because, you know, I was an American citizen. And I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't cuss, I don't steal. I mean, all the don'ts that I don't do, you'd think they wouldn't bother me. <laughs> I must look guilty, you know I'm not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Something. Maybe I'm too clean. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. Yeah. But I always have problems coming in, and I don't understand it. But I still travel if I can go. Mm -hmm. But I always let my kids know where I'm at, so if I do have any problem, and I notify the embassies in the different countries when I go. Someone told me to do that. Notify the embassy, no, let them know you're there. We were talking today, <coughs> excuse me, about the importance of being on time. Because if you're not on time, uh, if people can't tell at what point to come look for you or anything like that. So yeah, yeah, if I don't, that if today. I'm not on time, everybody knows. They get on the phone, they know something's wrong. Something's wrong. Because I'm ahead of time. Sometimes I go to the airport four hours ahead. My kids just have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. What are you doing four hours? Because I'll be there. But four hours, four hours is nothing if you're reading or. People watching, which I I love to pe watch people. It's really hot today. I, I mean, mm -hmm. we like hot, but it's mm -hmm. hot in here to be filming. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, tell me what we left out, what you like to talk about, and then I think what we want to do is put some R and B behind this, some old school, okay. old town. Well, I don't have anything more I want to talk about too much. Um, so, would you object if we put some R and B behind this? Oh, I would like, love some R and B. I'd like to hear some. Yeah, we'll, uh, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Can't sing, but I love music. <laughs> it's really hot, and uh, so, so this this train was a lot faster than we thought. It only had, what, 10 cars, maybe. Maybe they can hire us, we'd move faster. <laughs> so how about, how about we take you to um, have Society's Child sing to you a little bit. Um, who was one of your favorite singers? Sam Smith, I mean, what's the name? I don't have to him. No, I know you don't have him. Um, Wow. 
They're old, not old. No, not that old. <laughs> Come on now. No. Like, um, let's see, what do we have? We have? James Brown, he's, he's dead and old. I mean, most of my old people I like yeah. their music. During that time period. We'll, we'll find something nice from you by society's child. In that? These are my friends. Oh, sorry. You have, I'm going <laughs> to play one for you. Okay, I think I've heard them. I don't think I like them, the music, but it's okay. It's not bad. You don't like R&B? Not them singing. Not society's child. I know what you're talking about. I like, what's the name of it? She doesn't see, most of them are older dead than I know. <laughs> My age, they're 77, they're gone. <laughs> you know? so, so if you don't like society's child, then why am I putting it on? Well, it doesn't are matter. Are talking about the same people? Yes, the same people. I've heard them. From Seattle? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You can put it on because I like music, all different kinds. Okay, then. So I wouldn't go by, but I'll listen. Okay, well then, society's child it is. Miss Lisa, yes. I thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, yeah. you said happy birthday yeah. to you. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Hang on just one minute. So uh. we're going to give you some society's child, mm -hmm. and so we don't have to do redos. Karma. Karma. Yes. Okay. we see you next week with another story. And, um, was it Adam you said wonder? No, I hope you enjoy it, Adam. It's Tim. all real. No. It's all true. It's Tim. Tim, yeah. it's true. Oh. It's all true, believe me. Yeah. <laughs> Other things I could tell you take much more time and I don't think they'd be funny. So we we'll see you next week. <laughs> huh? Thank you for yeah, coming, okay. my friend. Well, thank you for inviting me again. Bye-bye. Bye. Love to every... So, it's society's child. I'm taking you dancing. Now this is a fan. He's here all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Talk loud. Yep. Yeah. So, and you come here because of society's child. And and the band. Well, that is the band. <laughs> that is the band. So you've been coming here how long? For about six years. Six years. And rainstorm, mm -hmm. hail. Yep. Won't keep you? Nope. It won't keep you away? Nope. So tell me something about... I love the group. I love their songs. And nobody else could be as good as they are. They get better all the time. That's huh? right. Okay, and your name, dear? Frank. Frank. Cool. We'll see you on the dance floor, Frank. Yep, you will. And how are you this evening? Huh? How are you this evening? I'm, I'm fine. How are you this evening? I'm getting ready to work here. You made a friend. Hi, I'm a society child. My name is Lady B, and I hope you enjoy our show. I'm going to be loving it. And, and you're the brain behind the whole thing, all right? I am the brain behind the cool. I can't remember the name of your other band that we you have. Oh, there's many to remember. Um, I can't remember all of them myself, but I am performing in various bands around the city and around the country. Yeah. And we got you on Facebook. We captured you. Oh, wow. But you know, it's good to be captured sometimes. It is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, hon. We'll enjoy the show. I will. You too. Thank yeah. you. Oh, and how are you this evening? I am doing great. I'm ready to get up there for some. I understand you uh, just came back from a long absence. Yes, I did. I'm glad to be back. I came back. They called me, told them, yeah, I'll do this. I missed it. I missed performing. He was a little boy lost. He was a, <laughs> hey, he was lost. Yes, I did, was. did he go to the Midwest or was he here already? He went to Mars. Oh, he, yeah, oh no there. wonder. He went to Mars and came back. <laughs> no wonder Mars had to go to Mars. Okay. Yeah. And your name here? Trudell Austin. Trudell Austin. Okay, so we'll enjoy you in a few minutes. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you can be like this. Recording society.